Welcome to View Chem, the Chemistry Animations channel. Types of reagents in organic chemistry. A covalent bond is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons by the two contributing atoms. In the following animation, covalent bond formation between the two atoms of an element A is shown. If the two atoms of the same element involve in the covalent bond formation, then the electronegativity difference between these two atoms will be zero. Thus, the result is the formation of a pure covalent bond. The bond between the two hydrogen atoms is an example of a pure covalent bond. Similarly, we can show the formation of a pure covalent bond between the two atoms of chlorine. Only the seven valence electrons of each chlorine atom are shown. Nature of the bond depends upon the difference in the electronegativity between the two atoms involved in the bonding. If the electronegativity difference is 0 to 0 0.39, pure covalent bond will be formed. If the electronegativity difference is 0 0.4 to 1.8, polar covalent bond results. If the electronegativity difference is more than 1.8. Then the ionic bond formation takes place. The electronegativity values of few elements are given below. Carbon, 2.5, Hydrogen, 2.1, Chlorine, 3.0, Oxygen, 3.5, and, Nitrogen, 3.0, based on the difference in electronegativity values. C, C bond, is a pure covalent bond. C, H bond is a pure covalent bond. C, Cl bond, is a polar covalent bond. C, O bond, is a polar covalent bond, and C, N bond, is a polar covalent bond. The reagents like, free radicals, electrophiles, and nucleophiles are formed as consequence of bond fission. Based on the bond polarity, when sufficient amount of energy is given, a covalent bond may undergo two types of cleavages. Homolytic cleavage, or homolytic fission, or homolysis. When required amount of energy is supplied, a pure covalent bond cleaves in such a way that each of the contributing atoms gets an electron, resulting in the formation of free radicals. Heterolytic cleavage, or heterolytic fission, or heterolysis. In the case of polar covalent bond, as one of the atoms involved in the bond formation is more electronegative, the bonded pair of electrons is polarized towards more electronegative atom. As a result, more electronegative atom acquires partial negative charge, while the other atom gets partial positive charge. Upon the supply of required amount of energy, the polar covalent bond undergoes fission in such a manner, that the more electronegative atom gets the electron pair, while the less electronegative atom will be devoid of electron pair. Thus, electron-rich species nucleophile, and electron-deficient species electrophile, are formed. The formation of free radicals, by homolytic fission, and, the formation of nucleophiles and electrophiles, by heterolytic fission, 
can be visualized as follows. Homolytic cleavages usually takes place, at high temperatures, or upon the exposure to ultraviolet light, or in the presence of peroxides. But, in the peroxides, oxygen-oxygen bond is weak. So, such weak bonds require less energy, to undergo homolytic fission, to yield oxygen-free radicals. Examples of, free radicals. That is species with, odd electron. Alkyl free radical, halogen free radical, hydroxyl free radical, peroxy free radical. Please note that all the four species contain a not electron. Examples of electrophiles, that is, species with less electron density. Examples of, nucleophiles, that is species with more electron density. Neutral nucleophiles. Charged nucleophiles. The topic, types of reagents, in, organic chemistry, can be summarized as Thanks for watching. Please, subscribe, like and share.